What is up, planet? Is the priest? I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be focusing on words of encouragement for exactly where you are and exactly what you need to hear in the moment that you are currently in. Also, this video is timeless, so it doesn't really matter when you click on it. It's going to be for you in the time space again that you are in. If you guys are new to the planet, welcome where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. Shout out to all my new subscribers, my Patreon planet, everyone who supports my message and my vision. I'm super grateful and honored to be a part of your journey. If you guys would like to book a personal reading, find information about my book that will be releasing on February 22nd, you can find that information in the description box below, along with everything else that you guys may be seeking. All right, let's hop into today's reading. I have four different decks to choose from. These stones are all rose quartz stones, so just choose the stone or the deck that you feel like is calling towards you. If you guys are having some trouble on picking the stone or deck, because I know a lot of you guys are new to pick a card, look away, look back, and whichever deck or stone pulls you first or pulls your attention first is probably going to be the deck that your intuition wants you to go with. All right, so we have four different decks to choose from. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see what messages or words of encouragement your higher self has for you. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading for words of encouragement that your higher self wants you to know or hear in the space that you are currently in. I want to start with what is currently going on. So basically events and circumstances. Um, so when I pulled this tarot deck, my specific question is, what are you guys going through or experiencing so that I know which uh, words of encouragement are for you? All right, so we have Cancer Energy on the board. Again, I'll just call out a few signs that are coming to me. If it resonates, great. If it does not, it may not be for you, but Cancer is definitely here. We have the Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. So this tells me that some of you are in between. Uh, figuring out where you want to go financially. So this could be a job opportunity that's coming in. But for the most part, I feel like a lot of you are having some issues or maybe experiencing some issues financially. What I'm also picking up, though, is you have a lot of fears around finances. So it may not be that you've already lost something. It's more of like being afraid or fear of lack, I should say. So basically right now, your higher self is going to encourage you to have a positive outlook on your financial status. And then also the word, the word need, like if you guys are using this word a lot or often, like I need this, I need that. This is also coming from a place of lack. So the word need is basically like a repellent for uh, experiencing or obtaining more. So when you're putting that out into the universe, the universe is not going to respond to the word need because basically it's you believing that there's lack. And also with the chariot card, this is about moving forward. So if you guys have lost something or are questioning the job opportunity, I feel like you guys are just not exactly sure where to go financially just yet. That's, that's mainly the energy that's coming up for uh, what's going on with you guys. We also have the eight of cups. I've been talking a lot about past relationships in the past. Um, though you guys may feel like you've moved forward with the eight of cups, this is walking away from something. So a lot of you guys right now, your higher self is trying to encourage you to walk away from people, to walk away from jobs that are not serving you, fulfilling you, bringing you happiness, but also financial security. It is true that if you are working a job that you don't really desire, then that can also in affect your influx of finances. So a lot of you guys are being encouraged to create also with the Empress card here and walking away. So it's almost like this is where you guys are currently in and the, your higher self is trying to get you to move forward with confidence, to celebrate, to be optimistic about your future, but also to make necessary changes in decisions. With the Eight of Cups, again, some of you guys may have walked away from jobs, people, places, or certain circumstances, but your higher self is saying there still needs to be a little bit more releasing from past energy. So let's see what that's about. Yeah, emo emotional withdrawal. So emotional loss and emotional withdrawal. So both of these cards came out for you guys. This is a very emotional time. Like I said earlier, there's a lot going on in the world. And, and what's interesting is you guys have the eight twice here. So this is about moving away from something that's emotionally depleting you. That's not fulfilling you. It's basically 
<laughs> it's time to walk away is basically what higher self is saying. So we have emotional loss and also movement away from the challenging times. Yeah. <sighs> a lot of regrets coming up. Uh, a lot of challenging times. Basically, your higher self is also encouraging you guys to move forward with courage by following your truth and also leaving, not staying in certain situations that you already know the outcome of, whether that's a job or a relationship. A lot of you know that it's been the same thing over and over. Some of you guys are expecting different things with the job or waiting for things to happen. Higher self is saying to make your decision to move towards exactly what it is that you want. A lot of you also have been through a lot of emotional loss as far as losing people, losing relationships, friends. A lot is changing in the year of 2020 due to the fact that you guys are ambitious about manifesting. So again, with that manifestation comes aligning your life accordingly in order to receive the manifestations that you guys are trying to attract. So you're mastering unconditional love. And also, this is just the space that you guys are currently in before I give you guys the words of encouragement. I could just see that there are things in your life that are not making you happy, that are not bringing happiness, that are not fulfilling you, that you're waiting for change. Like some of you guys are really amped up and positive about change, which is great. However, some of the things that you guys are going through are not going to change unless you change. And, and with that is changing the cycle of constantly doing the same thing over and over. Um, whether it's walking away or some of you also, I feel like for a few of you may have passion projects or entrepreneur entrepreneurship endeavors, but you start something and then you get discouraged because it's not taking off right away. So then you go back into the job place and then you do the same cycle. So cycles like that basically is just you kind of living on this loop. And so in order to break that, you're going to have to do something drastically different. All right, balance, spirituality, and practicality. We have Pisces energy also on the board. So this is, this is interesting. I have said in 2020 that intellect and knowledge is only gonna get you so far. So with the balance, spirituality, and practicality, this is knowing when to use your intellect, but then also knowing when to use your spirituality. Meaning intellectually, we're taught to stick it out, work hard, see where it goes, have hope that it will change which is great again, but considering these circumstances, it seems like there needs to be a, a more of a spiritual growth or more spiritual essence so that you guys can make decisions that are bringing you clarity. Meaning if you come to a crossroads, which a lot of you guys are currently in your life at crossroads, which, which way to go, especially with the chariot. So the two of Pentacles, this is balancing decisions, choices, not sure what to do. There's options. Should I go this way? Should I go that way? But spirit is saying to um, adopt more of a spirituality or even a third eye sense. And this is just intuition so that you can make the decision that's best for you. So if you're in that crossroads, your encouragement is to be um, be more engaged with your instincts and your intuition in order to guide you down the right path because some of you guys are making decisions intellectually or practically right i need this job it, it, again i'm going to the job because it seems like finances is something right now that you guys are currently trying to figure out some of you guys who feel like you're financially stable are not really being fulfilled in your workplace or will come to a discovery that there's no fulfillment and then others of you just don't really desire to work for other people. So a lot of this is coming from uh, the desire to have more abundance in your life. Some of you guys want to start families, want to have children, but you don't feel like you're in the, the space to do that. So there's a lot that's at stake here with having a good balance of spirituality and then being intelligent at the same time. But however, what spirit is saying is, we're here, your guides are here to help you make the right decision to bring you clarity, but you have to trust your instincts when making decisions, your commitment is being tested. Exactly. So a lot of you again are in, are being encouraged to take leap of a leap of faith out of the things that are bringing emotional withdrawal and emotional loss to you. So your commitment is more so your faith, having faith and optimism about the future. If you let people in situations go, your commitment is being tested. All right, let's see. Ace of Swords, I am ready for a breakthrough to success. Exactly. So a lot of you guys are dealing with uh, success and trying to accomplish these things 
However, intellectually, when it comes to business, we think logically and practically, which is again amazing. However, spirit is saying that there are going to be opportunities that you cannot outthink or think into existence. Like this is going to require more of a spiritual eye so that you can uh, be able to create the way you want to. A lot of you guys really want to create or have projects in mind or want to do something that's fulfilling. You're okay with working, but it's about the balance of that. So a lot of you guys, yes, you have lost things emotionally, like you're going through a roller coaster right now, but it, this is um, reliant on your faith and your spiritual connection with intuition uh, to bring you comfort. Yeah, voice of truth, stay strong, focus on your purpose. Okay, so another thing that I have to bring to your guys' attention, a lot of you are like focused on career. That is a systematic word, right? What I had said in my last video is the universe will equip you. Your The universe is your employer. So a lot of you want to do these amazing things and projects, but you're worried about finances. Like there's a lot of financial restraints coming in. And so you're being encouraged to follow the truth and to have faith that you can create streams of income without having to rely on other people, that you can have independence for yourself. But also this is reliant on you releasing your fears of what people will say and speaking your truth. So for the voice of truth, you guys are kind of being tested right now. You're in a space of testing your faith on spine. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stay strong in your faith. Right? A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive outcome. Exactly. So the reason why intellect is not going to take you so far is because there's things that you're not going to know. When you take a leap of faith, you don't know where you're going to land. You don't know how things are going to populate. And so because of that, it's important that you have more trust and faith in your spirituality to guide you, your guides. Basically, they're there. But you have to start building that connection with them. Start nurturing the relationship with your guides. Otherwise, once these things happen or take place or you experience loss in your life, you're going to freak out because you're going to feel like you're alone. So those of you who feel like you're at a crossroads or alone, this is about testing your faith. And um, this, I'm feeling like the universe is using it as a way to strengthen that sense, your sense of intuition. And in order to strengthen that, you got to use it. You have to see it like an elastic band, like a muscle that you have to work out. Also, two of cups, I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. So yeah, a lot of you guys are experiencing loss in relationships or are ready for relationships to come forth, but this is also going to be reliant on you falling in love with yourself. And I'll get into that. Queen of Pentacles, I have everything I need to prosper. Exactly. This is also knowing who you are. Spirit and your guides are like, you have to know who you are. You have to understand that you're prosperous. You have to understand what abundance really means. Abundance is energy, but a lot of you guys are looking at it practically. And that's what I was saying with the balance. And this is hard to do because we're taught that money is practical. I buy this, or if I work for this many hours, I make this much money. With the universe, it doesn't work that way. People will bless you abundantly for the services you provide. So this is about having more of an open mind around finances. And then we'll get to the emotional side. All right, Nine of Swords, I trust the present moment. So yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of you guys took a hit like at the beginning of the year with your emotion. Again, a, some of you came into 2020 super geek, super excited. However, as time is going on, as tragic events are occurring, it's affecting your emotional balance. And a lot of you guys are experiencing this mentally. With the Nine of Swords, focusing on what you've lost is going to create an exhaustion from you for you mentally. And then return populate and produce or manifest depression, anxiety, right? It starts once you adopt these thoughts of negativity, then you are manifesting them. And now you're starting to feel it in your body. So uh, you're being tested to kind of just let it go, let things go that have already taken place that didn't work out so that you can move towards the celebrations and the ceremonies. All right, so the last few cards that we have is give peace a chance, exactly. With the Nine of Swords here and this um, uh, this break, it seems like a breakup or a loss in general. A lot of you guys have been experiencing loss. This is giving peace a chance is allowing, trusting the present moment, which means getting out of the future, which is creating anxiety, getting out of the past, which is creating depression. Remember guys, we are only living 
when we are in the present moment. So basically what your spirit guides are saying is the more that you're in this moment of what's happening right here, right now, as we, as I'm connecting with you and speaking to you in this present moment, this moment is the only moment that exists, right? And this is higher learning that you guys are coming into. That's why it's so important for you to adopt your truth and figure out what you believe. Because once you find that truth for yourself, it's going to make you much more powerful to be able to attract abundance and understand how this works. So trusting in the present moment. So your guys' two overall energy and guidance cards are shower of abundance, which is again, like I said, I feel like this is strongly predicated on your guys' fears of not having enough, not having plenty, um, fear of losing things. If you quit the job that you do not desire to work, these things you guys are kind of trapped, but basically your words of encouragement are also that there is a open door to light and another option for the financial abundance that you're seeking. So to heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow it. So again, this seems like you guys are working towards building a better relationship with abundance, but first you have to understand it. You have to see abundance like a, an absolute relationship. And then with the page of wands being open to receiving, right? Because if there's opportunities that are around you, but you're not open, you will miss these opportunities. All right. Your last card of advice. I'm going to go to the book is all must have prizes trying to please everyone. So this card, let's see what this card is about. While it seems like a lovely message, how wonderful for everyone to have and to have won prizes. There is a hidden shadow to the card. For there is no winning if all have won, and there is no prize if all have acquired the same thing. In other words, there does not seem to have been a test of excellence, merely an exercise which seems to have tested people. But at the end of the day, they will all get the same reward. This card comes to those who are tasked with evaluating the work of others and are trying to choose who has done well. This card also comes to those who wish to please everyone and do not wish to fall short out of favor. When this card comes, consider the choices you have before you. It is best to reward everyone in the same way, even if they don't deserve it, or is it best to reward those who have deserved it? So basically this is about trying to keep everyone happy, trying to keep everyone equal, um, the ability to not be able to choose what is best for you because you're worried about other things and other people. So this could be at a job place where you don't want to let someone down. You don't want to let your family down. You don't want to let your kids down. It just seems like it's predicated on a lot of this. And so what spirit is also saying is to release all of the heavy burdens that you guys are carrying because it's not your responsibility. And this is affecting your abundance because honestly, what I'm picking up is you have plenty of abundance, but this emo these emotional blockages that you're having in your life and the focus that's being um, pulled towards other people, trying to please other people or staying in certain situations that you don't really uh, want to do for the sake of people's expectations of you. This is why it's so important that this card is like the determinant factor. You guys are becoming more of a firm believer in the truth that you believe. And honestly, expectations and obligations are all going to be limits to your happiness. Any of them are going to limit your happiness because it filters you and it blocks you from experiencing full abundance in your life in general, whether it's relationships or the job place. So your words of encouragement are to keep moving forward, to release the things that are not making you happy, including expectations others have of you, obligations others have of you in order to be able to attract more abundance into your life. But this is all predicated on your faith, staying strong and understanding that you already have everything that you need to prosper. So this comes from a much more in-depth relationship with your higher self and trust and faith that abundance will come to you. Even if it doesn't look like what it looks like on the surface, this is requiring a spiritual eye to see things from a much higher perspective. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading of words of encouragement for exactly where you are right now. Stay focused and remember, have an open mind and an open perspective. Don't forget to comment down below so I can leave some words of encouragement to you guys. In the meantime, I'm moving on to deck number two. 
All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and words of encouragement for exactly where you are right now. All right, so my first question to this deck was, what are you experiencing? The moon card is here, so we have Pisces energy. I'll be calling out different zodiac signs um, just if I pick them up. Six of cups, again, in reverse, which means some of you guys are still stuck on the past or past decisions that you've made. We have the Nine of Cups, which is good. This means that something's getting ready to turn around for you guys. Queen of Cups, there's a lot of emotions right now. The emotions are high. Two of Wands, it looks like some of you guys are in between decisions, but some of you have come to a conclusion on what it is that you want. Uh, but for the most part, it seems like you're learning more about yourself and about the people that you're around. It's interesting because some of you even have discovered the things that have made you happy in the past no longer stand. Um, this is just part of your spiritual awakening of getting back to your you, getting back to the core of you and what actually made you happy before you began to change uh, for other people, for other circumstances, for other periods in your life. You guys are kind of learning all of that. Eight of Cups, I accept my situation without resistance. It's interesting because it came out in the sideways. It's like a few of you guys have walked away from some things and a few of you guys are still resisting it with Eight of Cups. Seven of Cups, I trust myself to see the truth. A lot of emotions already on the board. I am sure of my place in the world. So this is financial constraints and finances that you guys are learning how to accomplish. I think that you're getting better. And also I feel like Spirit is encouraging you guys to be your true self and your true self is prosperous. Learning more of who you are and what money is. It seems like a lot of us are dealing with this space of understanding abundance and not being worried about it. So a lot of you have things that you desire to do, but you feel like you're constrained uh, with finances. I give and receive for the uh, universal good. Basically what spirit is also doing is encouraging you to constantly give so that you can keep the stream of giving and receiving, right? When we are like this with our finances, it's really hard to receive more um, if we can't open our hands and release what we already have. So you're learning how to release and be in the stream of abundance, the give and the receiving. That's, that's a balance versus completely giving, you're out of balance because you're giving too much or always um, holding and never receiving. All right, so Knight of Pentacles, I deserve financial security. So it seems like you guys are actually on the right path when it comes to finances, thinking about what it is that you want to do. It's interesting because the elephant, the elephant's all about prosperity. So you guys are learning how to make better decisions around finances, but also to, uh, you guys are in a space where you're trying to figure out how to invest also so that you don't have to work as hard. Um, there's something that you guys are passionate about that's going to come up to um, that's going to help you guys bring in some more money This is uh, very interesting because you guys are changing drastically. Yeah, so we have lead and we have observe So you're learning how to be more assertive This is Aries energy mostly too is what I'm picking up but leading is about being assertive and also in order to have the confidence that you guys are longing for with your financial situations and building a foundation of uh, finances and abundance is predicated on you guys going uh, towards it and not waiting for it to come towards you. So taking the lead in your destiny and making decisions, not waiting for someone to make the decisions for you. And then observe, being more observant of money and your relationship with finances. Again, this seems to be heavily predicated towards finances. I have some relationship stuff of encouragement that we'll get into because there are some emotions uh, that need to be released. We have a lot of emotional energy here. We have all of these cup cards, which tells me that you guys are uh, fairly up and fairly down. Sometimes you feel like you know what you want to do and what you, it's almost like just a need for getting grounded and getting stable in what it is so that you can find the drive towards it. So some of you basically spirit is encouraging you to make the decision. And once you make these decisions and you stand your ground, you will start seeing results. But it's like an up and down with you guys with making decisions and feeling like this is it. And then going back on the decision, questioning it. This, this type of back and forth is creating an influx in your emotions and up and down. All right, let's see what else you guys have. You're very close to achieving your goal. Exactly, staying focused. 
keeping the lead, being uh, observant. Nothing is set in stone yet. Perfect. So this tells me that you guys didn't miss your opportunity to build something. So you're just now getting back on the path. Some of you guys are redirecting it, being more observant this time around. Obstacles and challenges. Perfect. So it seems like a lot of us are going through these challenging and adversity times. This is also coming from our lack of, remember I was saying back and forth, indecisiveness. Once you make a clear decision and you know this is exactly what you want, you're going to start seeing the benefits coming in abundantly. So the words of encouragement is to stay strong and also um, be open to help, be open to creating a team. Uh, again, this seems like it's financial for the most for the most of you guys in this situation that you guys are in right now. Uh, building a team, being open to help, your spirit guides are here to help and guide you. That relationship needs to be kind of redirected and connected. A lot of you are making decisions out of emotion rather than uh, intuition. And so that's where most of your guys' challenges are, is uh, not getting too heavy in your emotions where you're making decisions sporadically, but making clear, decisive decisions based on intuition. Uh, that's why you guys are experiencing a lot of obstacles and challenges is because it's like you guys are just kind of like this with your emotions. And so spirit is just encouraging you to make a decision and to be open to, to also receiving help. Where you guys are at, yeah, exactly, trusting in heaven. It is uh, very, very necessary for you guys to start building more of a spiritual connection so that you can have clarity in the decisions that are coming forth that need to be made. A lot of you, it seems like you're grieving too. A lot of emotional changes that have happened. I feel like some of you are looking back on 2019 like in disbelief that everything even took place that you, can, you couldn't even really keep up with how fast things were going. So this card says, trusting in heaven, you're safe. Angels stand close, surrender your concerns and allow a, and allow a miracle to occur. So being open to receiving exactly, even if it's a miracle, it seems like a lot of you guys are getting ready to experience um, an emotional high, a climax of emotions, a wish come true, things actually falling into place, all the hard work that you're putting off into your finances. Some of you guys are business owners. You're going to start seeing the difference in when you change your energy, how the money is also coming in differently too. So your, the, your view and your outlook of abundance is uh, so important when it comes to attracting it, right? So spirit is saying take a closer look at your relationship with abundance and take a closer look with your trust in yourself your trust in yourself to make the right decisions and following your truth not going against that spend more time outdoors so a lot of you guys remember i was saying that you need to get grounded right spending more time outdoors is very necessary it's not just outdoors, it's nature. It's uh, connecting with water, connecting with meditation, certain sounds. There needs to be something that helps ground you guys because there's a, there's a need for peace and emotions you guys are dealing with. The last deck was dealing with more so being in their head. You guys are more so dealing with making dis decisive decisions without being in your emotions because the emotions are taking you on this wave. So there needs to be a sense of grounding, spending more time outdoors, uh, changing your environment, whether it's candles, sage, something to help ground you is necessary because one day it's like everything's amazing. The next day it's like, what the hell happened? And so that this is just coming from a necessary place of grounding yourself. Speak words of love. So speaking words of love is only, and also with the observe here, being observant of how you speak, right? Higher self is encouraging guys to be careful about the words that you're putting into the atmosphere. Speaking is a very powerful thing. Speaking things into existence um, and also speaking to your subconscious or speaking out loud, right? So coming from a place of love, also there's a little bit of forgiveness that's necessary uh, with yourself also with making decisions in the past and and I'm not saying that you guys are living there I'm just saying that a lot of your identity has been created on past events So it's necessary to be observant of the way that you speak to yourself the way that you speak about what you have What you feel like you need what you feel like you're lacking because you're putting these messages into the universe So speaking only words of love prosperity. Yeah, you guys are on your way 
A lot of you, again, I'm just going to speak on this. A lot of you are CEOs wanting to start a passion, wanting to start your purpose, really anxious to find that, looking for um, some good fulfillment, but also finances, joy and stability. That's getting ready to come. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. So you guys are learning a lot more about prosperity. Even in your relationship, some of you have uh, left relationships for another person or you were uh, dating and you left that person because you didn't even spend time uh, getting into a situation that you knew wasn't for you. A lot of you are just like, I'm not wasting time. And Spirit's encouragement is that you're in the right direction, that you guys actually have someone that's coming in in the future if you haven't already met them. This person is super compassionate. They have a lot of love. So if you're, if you're thinking about some decisions that you've made in the past, Spirit is like, don't even waste your time looking back. Everything that you want is going to be ahead of you. It's, it's, there's nothing back there anymore. And so if, if you do happen to look back at something or have a flashback or a trigger, spirit is saying, just deal with that right then and there. And if you do, this is just a reminder, like a checking engine light that, hey, there's still some things that you're focused on in the past. This is what it is. So they'll come up and spirit's going to bring it up for you to clean it up. All right. Cleanse and detox. So again, we have another message for making sure that you guys are in tune with peace, with spirit, and um, that place is what's gonna bring you guys abundance, is that spiritual place of serenity, but also good energy. So cleanse and detox. With great love and respect, we ask you to detox your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, ease of sorrow, and shedding your old ways, or I'm gonna put your old self. Again, tons of things happening with you guys. You're in the right place. So if you're freaking out about how much you've changed, you're looking in, your mirror, in the mirror like, I don't know who I am anymore. Spirit is like, don't freak out. You're just getting back to that person that you used to be. And that person that you used to be was who you were as a child, and which, is, which is a lot of us is discovering getting back to that place of when we had an imagination, when we didn't have cares and worries, when we didn't know how we were going to get taken care of, but somehow we always were. That level of faith in universe, God, whatever, is what your spirits are really asking you to have in the time that you're in. Some of you may be looking back because you're questioning, did I make the right decision? Am I on the right path? Spirit is still saying, I'm still feeling a yes. Everything that you want is in front of you. There's nothing left behind you. So give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your purified new body. So your eyes are getting ready to change. The way you see things are changing. Your perspective is going to change, which is why it's important to observe. And lead, also I'm feeling like, don't not looking back for other people that's another thing so just because you guys have moved on you're like i'm looking forward sometimes looking back is just going back to that same friendship where that friend is kind of like in the same place and has been in the same place for years whether it's a family member friend someone close to you even that is a person of the past and so some of us are holding on to relationships because we're like or friendships because we're like well i knew them since kindergarten and i knew them since we're outgrowing people. And so the emotional grieving that you guys are feeling is also shedding your old self, shedding your old thoughts and your own ways and your old identity. Okay, so your guys' is overall words of encouragement. It's interesting because again, we have nature communication. So flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messengers. So this is interesting because what I'm feeling like is some of you need to uh, put something that is living in your house to bring life to you right so this is flowers again sage anything that's bring plants anything that it's interesting because that i'm thinking of plants i don't know why but plants and flowers if you guys can get a couple of those and put them in your home i feel like that's going to help cleanse you also and cleanse the feelings that you have just by this right here and I only know that because with this card, it's like there's so much life around her. And so spirit is like saying, pour your spirit into what is bringing you life. Plants are just the representation of that. Okay, that's a really deep message, guys, is you guys are waking yourself back up. And so you're pouring into yourself. So be very cautious of what you're pouring into you at, because you are also a plant, is what I'm feeling. Okay, who in the world are you? <laughs> Getting to know the new you, that's insane. Didn't even know that was a card. 
All right, so yeah, you guys are having like an emotional freak out because you're losing yourself, but you're losing your false self, your false identity that was predicated on the beliefs that were given to you as a child, the way you should have seen life based on what your parents said, what your school teacher said, what your mentor said, your coach said. It's like so many people and so much information that you've been like taking in, you're just now getting back to who you are and spirit is saying, in order to find and trace that person, you're going back to childhood. You're going back to who you were as a child. All right. Who in the world am I? That's a great puzzle to discover. When you receive this card, you are being asked to rediscover yourself through the asking of that all important question. Who am I? So many people go through life being who they think they are, who others say they are, and who they think they ought to be when who they truly are is submerged beneath comfortability. <laughs> habit, stereotypes, cultural expectations, or others' opinions. This card is asking you to ask this question to assume for just one moment that you may not know who you are. This is just your invitation to go beneath the roles and the assumptions, allowing your true self to slowly ascend and emerge from beneath the feedback of the world to be once again. Wow, that's amazing. You may wish to medicate on the, meditate on this question or to find out who you are in new places with new people you are starting over in an incarnated way is what the card says so this all that is happening right now is for the purpose of discovering you and getting back to who you always were that that kind of was neglected in all of the cares and concerns of the world so you guys are getting back to that place which is super exciting if you're in a space right now where you're like what the hell i know it's really scary to discover yourself but focus on the amazing excitement part of wow like there's more to me than i thought and this is going to really really come from you trusting your spirit guides so if you guys chose deck number two this is your reading in words of encouragement from your guides at the moment that you're in don't forget to comment below so i can get some words of encouragement back to you guys i'm moving on to deck number three all right if you guys chose deck number three this is your reading in words of encouragement from your spirit guides all right, so the first question I asked this deck was what were you guys currently experiencing? Some of you guys are overwhelmed or coming out of a space of being overwhelmed. It's going to require, so I'm already feeling like a high, your higher self is saying to um, spend some time contemplating on your decisions, resting, getting rejuvenated and restored for the next chapter of your life. Some of you guys are not just ready um, it's interesting. Yeah, listen. So your spirit guides have been trying to communicate with you guys. Also, something that I'm feeling is your third eye. Decalcifying your third eye is very important. You can find videos on that on YouTube if you just search that. Um, this is just having more of clarity and a spiritual vision to see from a higher perspective. It seems like a lot of us are needing that right now is connecting back with our higher self and our guides, but also take the time out to do that. I know that a lot is going on in your guys' life right now. There's a lot going on in the world, but spirit is like, don't forget yourself. Don't forget to nurture yourself, to uh, rest and contemplate so that you can, uh, I'm already feeling, I don't even know what why these, are, th these messages are coming forth, but some of you guys are also empaths. So you're walking around and you're pulling a lot of energy and are tired or exhausted if i'm speaking of you again i'm just speaking to a few of you guys if it resonates cool if not i'm gonna get right back to this deck but basically don't forget to dump all the things that you're picking up like there's a lot that you guys are dealing with right now but there needs to be like a schedule on your time where you're just this is me time and the alarm needs to go off and you actually need to schedule it because some of you are saying, okay, I'm gonna make more time, I'm gonna make more time, and it just keeps going by. So your spirit guides are trying to connect with you for the purpose of peace, but it is hard to do that in the in the place of chaos that you guys are actually in or going through. Um, six of Swords, this is mentally being in the past, it's interesting. This is the third deck that had a six in reverse, which tells me that a, a, some of us are still stuck on the past and making decisions on if I want to go back to certain things that I've done, certain friends, relationships, whatever it is, my past, your past um, ways of thinking. Again, because once you guys make a decision to adopt spirituality and happiness, there is going to be some accountability on your part to release things. And it seems like things are falling apart, but they were meant to fall apart. They were built by you, not by a universe or God. And so they didn't really stand a chance in standing on solid foundation because the way that you built your life 
uh, was not predicated on that. I don't know why I'm getting those messages, but that's what's definitely coming up. Some of you guys are confused and looking for some clarity. Lover's card, so we have Gemini energy on the board. Uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys are not moving forward. You're stuck in the past. Okay, so let's see. Why is this Lover's card here? Just one card. Okay, two cards. Perfect, exactly. I let go and embrace new beginnings. So this is like a past relationship, a past, it, it seems like that. This seems like the only deck where, where I was really picking up a relationship. So some of you, if you're looking into the past on a relationship, it's time to let go. Now, when I say let go, this is what I mean. Even if you don't wanna be with this person, even if you block that person, which again, blocking is still in a sense running, I don't really feel the need to block people that I don't really think about. So if you're really moved forward, there will be no necessary um, steps that need to take to blocking this person unless, of course, they're threatening you or if it gets, it gets crazy. But in a sense, this is still kind of holding on. And even if you have memories that are coming back to you or being in a space at all in the past, then Spirit is saying to just let go, to trust and have faith to be able to embrace new beginnings because the death card is here. This is Scorpio energy. This is letting go of things, letting go of the life that you once lived, the identity that you must was adopting. You guys are changing like very fast. Like the caterpillar becomes the butterfly. However, it's almost like you guys are kind of like breaking out of your cocoon, seeing things and you're like, oh my gosh, this is like nothing. I don't know if I'm ready for this and trying to go back into that space of cocoon, which is just the past, right? The cocoon is representation of that past. You are learning how to let go completely and not just of the of relationship or person, but the things that have transpired in the past, letting go of that, letting it go not because you have no choice, right? If this person walked away or this wasn't working out, I'm letting go because I deserve to be fulfilled with unconditional love. I deserve to be free and I deserve to be happy. Therefore, I'm choosing to let this go and see what universe, God, whatever you choose to believe, has in store for me in the near future. That's the space where it needs to be let go because this will be the, this will be the closure that you need, the door that you need for some of you who are dealing with the relationship. If you are still holding on to anything from the past, including your past ways of thinking, your past mentality, the thoughts that you used to have about life, all of that stays in the past, letting go to embrace it. All right, I am supported and never alone. Five of Pentacles, this is some loss. This could have been a job. Also, some of you guys can be tr transitioning. Um, the masses seem to be dealing with financial things right now in this time period. So again, some of you are thinking about a new job or transitioning or questioning if this is going to be enough for you or how long am I going to have to stay here? Um, also cancer is here too. It's interesting because we have the wheel of fortune in reverse, which tells me that there's some backtracking that's necessary only to close the door. So a lot of you guys, what Spirit is saying is encouraging you, yes, if you feel like there's some, some things in the past that you still need to address, that you've done totally fine, but just make sure that you close the door. It's almost like there are some things that you have to deal with in the past before you can completely let go and look and, and embrace new beginnings. New beginnings in everything in your life. All right, so personal resolution or personal issue reaches resolution. So something that you guys are dealing with, it looks like you guys are going to come to a revolution or a decision, which is good. A lot of you are letting go, like you're shedding old ways, old uh, skin, old identity, old, old things. Also, we have Aries energy, a fiery climax approaches and another Aries. So this is highly uh, high Aries energy. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. What exactly are they taking action on? Ten of Cups, your happiness. I have all I wish for in my relationships. You are making decisions without pressure, not waiting for someone to make the decision for you, but making decisions solely on yourself. You guys are learning how to take more, um, I, I don't like the word control, but you're learning how to take your power back and understanding that you actually do 
have more of a, you also have more of more power than you think you do in what happens in your life. Meaning you guys may assume that it's destiny, but spirit is saying you are still creating this reality. So you still have the paintbrush. You still can paint a different picture. You don't have to stick to what you did because you did it before. Just because some of you wanted to be a psychiatrist, a nurse, a doctor, a hairstylist two years ago, doesn't mean that you have to do it now. And so that's the key for this group is things that you've wanted to do and you've let go of them. Even that is necessary to let go of to embrace new opportunities that are coming in that are gonna provide you full contentment and fulfillment, not just contentment, but being fulfilled. So time to take action towards the things that make you happy. Making uh, decisions without pressure, Knight of Swords, I choose my battles carefully, not spending time, also fighting with the past. That's also something I'm feeling because the Swords is mental energy. Um, whether that's decisions that you've made, past resentment, things of that nature. Three of Wands, I have the energy I need to realize my goal. So just getting back on track and having more of a desire towards you having the paintbrush, more desire of you guys being the pilot of your plane, as I always say, and also being open, yeah, awaiting results. So you guys are kind of like waiting. In Aries energy, Aries is about leadership, assertiveness. Aries is very strongly driven. Once they have an idea, that's what the Aries, and I'm just talking about the animal of the Aries, but that's what it represents and stands for. So walking in confidence and being more assertive with the things that you want, not, oh, okay, yeah, I was just wondering if I was going to get a raise, you know, this year. It's like, okay, I'm hoping that I'm getting a raise. And if I'm not, I'm going to have to transition somewhere else. Like being more assertive and not waiting because what's happening is you're wasting time um, waiting for things to happen versus making them happen. And then we have love again. So again, with the lover's card and the love, it seems like if you guys are struggling with, some of you guys could be in new relationships now, uh, some of you guys could be single or feeling like you're struggling in relationships. Let's see what this is about. The sacred self. Yeah, this is about unleashing your spirit. So it's not, for those of you who are single, just a few of you, it's not time for a relationship. Your words of encouragement is to unleash your spirit to find your true authentic self so that when you do transition and, and raise your frequency, you will attract the right person versus who you would have attracted uh, based on who you used to be. So spirit wants you to move forward in relationships and being encouraged with that. It seems like you guys are going to be in love in a successful, happy relationship, but it's like you are just preparing for that, right? Cleaning house, cleaning anything that's still laying around um, in your life that doesn't need to be there. All right. Healthy communication in relationships. So if you guys are in relationships, this is a message to you. Heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communication helps you understand and be understood. Now, one, two things. Yes, this is for those of you who are in relationships. Two, those of you who are not, who are single, what I just said about how you address your boss or manager with a job being assertive, like, look, I'm actually telling you if I'm not getting a promotion, I'm leaving because this is not gonna be for me. That's the healthy communication that you're, you, you need to be able to voice how you feel and not be afraid of the outcome of it. So a lot of you are staying in certain situations due to fear of, okay, I'm just gonna wait another year and hope they say something. But it says, be clear and assertive to help be understood. And so this is important even in your workspace in your relationships, opening up more, communicating more. But I feel like the disconnect is that you guys really don't know yourself. You don't really understand who you are just yet. And so um, there is a little bit of communication that needs to be developed. Light and love. So this is what you guys are after is in this hard time that you guys may be in or this confusing space or this irritating place, you are adopting love and light. You are adopting your spirit guides in and listening. We have listen, love, and light. And then we have choose wisely. Again, are your decisions on the path to happiness and having all that you wish for? Is the person that you want to be with going to have all that you wish for in a relationship? Is this the person or are you wasting your time? 
Now, the reason why I say that, guys, is because spirit is saying that you do have love and you do have light in your life no matter what it looks like. You are letting go of these things that are not bringing love and are not bringing light into your life. In order to do that, you must listen. Commit to spirit of excellence. Whatever you do, do it well. So this is about committing to what brings excellence. Like I said, if it's not bringing um, a fulfilling love or light to you, it might be time to let it go, is what spirit is saying. And if it's bringing you confusion, it might not be the right time to make that decision right now. Just chill out is what spirit is saying, just chill. Um, everything is gonna work out in your guys' favor. A law of attraction, this is interesting. So each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely, choose wisely. How do you make the better decision? Spirit is saying, if it brings love, if it brings light, then it is for you in this very moment. So that should help with you guys making a better decision and choosing a decision. Now, if it brings a low frequency energy, which again, nobody has control over how you change your energy. If they do, or if they are um, affecting your energy, it may be time to depart until you're strong enough to work in that industry with your spirit and not be persuaded by the spirits around you. You should be able to walk in, into a room of chaos and be peace. This is your responsibility so that you can work in any environment and it not affect you because you're much more powerful and you're not limited. Um, so this means you can, you need to take a step back until you get to that place, or maybe this person or the situation that you're dealing with is just in a low vibration that even when you're in a positive vibration, it's not bringing love and light. And that would be a sign to let it go as well. So remember with law of attraction, you have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will cloudy attune your energies to higher frequency. If a lot of you guys are in low energy, yes, it's because things need to be released. Even feelings or things that you don't know about. Remember guys, subconsciously we pick up habits and beliefs since we were children. So taking more time that you feel like you don't have because of everything that's going on uh, to release this energy because spirit is trying to get you to a place of peace fulfillment and happiness. All right, your last word of advice and overall energy is impossible things, working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, a fresh perspective. This is also why it's important to release the things of the past or the things that just, no matter how positive you are, they're still chaotic. That's a sign to get rid of it. And this is due to a fresh perspective that's necessary. So there's no use in trying one who can't believe in impossible things. So it is indeed difficult to believe in impossible things. This could be a miracle or something that seems too good to be true. It also talks about belief as a matter of discipline and practice. What if you were to practice believing in the impossible? So this is about expanding your consciousness. A lot of you are holding on to past things, past people, or what you're comfortable with just because you don't know if it's actually possible to have these things. Okay, so if you were to spend half an hour each day meditating on a miracle, changing your thoughts or focusing on creating an amazing life, you would slowly be surely expand your limits of possibilities. If you devoted a half an hour each day to creating wonderful changes within your life, what would you achieve? Financial breakthroughs, relationship happiness, physical healing, devote yourself to something you wish to improve. A struggle to accept what seems likely this could also come up if you devote regular time to improving a situation or becoming better at something you care about or changing something for the better. Meditate on a miracle and believe the impossible things. So you guys are being challenged right now. Your faith is being challenged. And also with the faith, you don't have to wait. You can go forward towards the things that you guys actually want, which is your words of encouragement is to really just stay on the path that you guys are on, but be more observant of your thoughts as they are part of your manifestation process. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading in words of encouragement from your spirit guides. Don't forget to comment below so I can leave some comments back to you guys. I am moving on to the fourth deck. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading in words of encouragement from higher self. All right, so the first question I asked was, what were you guys currently dealing with? You're dealing with 
having to challenge the way that you see things. You could be a Leo with the strength card here. Six of Pentacles, challenged in how much you are giving and receiving, challenged in making and taking a leap into the unknown. Libra energy here, justice. So we have a lot of zodiac signs on the board already. And finances. So some of you guys could be giving too much, but in a sense, I feel like you are being challenged to understand who you are and the prosperity that you attain. Understanding the strength and the courage that you have. So a lot of the things that you guys are experiencing is to pull and dig deep within yourself and see the power that you have. In order to understand how powerful you are or how much strength you actually have, it is only through the challenges that we can actually see our potential. That's what Spirit is saying is, you're being challenged with this, especially finances. Some of you guys could be dealing with paperwork, situations with the law, um, wanting to take a leap of faith and just simply doing the things that you wanna to love, to love to do. There's a lot of constraints here that I feel like you guys feel like are holding you back, but Spirit is saying you're in these situations to wake up to the strength and the courage that you do have to be able to manifest what you want. What do you need to release? So some of you are carrying too much, too much weight. You could be a Taurus also, that's here. Your dreams need a practical plan. So a lot of, this seems like sometimes impulsive energy. So you guys could be impulsive with making decisions uh, with the Fool card here, the Six of Pentacles, especially with your money. You guys are learning more about abundance, but also about the power in which you have to obtain the things that you actually want. Um, this requires patience. So a lot of you are running off of energy and a lot of you guys are running off of excitement which is good and it's creating impulse, impulsive irrational decisions just at this place right now that you guys are currently at so with the patience it's like take heed slow down is what universe is saying slow down you don't have to chase what you already have right now this comes from a, a much higher perspective of understanding that everything you may be seeking you already have or it's within so the patience is here and also spirit is saying you need a practical plan foundation and achievement so building a foundation towards that also is going to help you three of cups embracing yeah you guys are you guys are being challenged right now on a spiritual level of following your own path not not following other people's path right even my path and when i say to you guys when it resonates that just means that that's confirmation of the truth and the path that you are needing to follow so i celebrate everything that i achieve you guys are on your way to making a lot more money so even though it seems like you you guys are not sure of your place financially you're working towards that this is heavily reliant on you changing your perspective of money and of things that have happened so with the patience card here passion and purpose your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart so motivation some of you need to change a lot like spirit is saying your music selection more like upbeat motivational stuff what you're watching on tv more motivational stuff youtubing researching motivational stuff it seems like you need to be poured into like there's a plant you guys are like a small plant and universe is trying to pour into you but without that connection it's very hard for higher self to guide you into where you want to be and because of that you guys are being asked to follow your own instincts following your intuition so if you know that you need to make changes in your life to just simply make the changes you guys are on your way to having much more prosperity and building a solid foundation so if it seems like things are shaking up right now it's getting you on the right path that you need in order to have justice for your life but your passion and purpose it's like you guys have enthusiasm but it needs a practical plan too not just like jumping into the ocean and saying like okay universe take me to where i want to be 
there still needs to be a balance of practicality. Um, even though we're spiritual beings in the human body, we are still the human body. The human body has its own limitations and therefore it requires a, uh, a balance of practical and spiritual things. So it's great that you guys have enthusiasm towards your passion and things and you're following your own path. We also have Virgo energy here, but I'm feeling as though um, your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. There needs to be more of a direction in where you guys are headed so that you can have the best um, outcome, success and growth. So yeah, you guys are doing really good, actually. Um, even though some things are throwing you off this year, I feel like you're still on the right path. You're very focused. This is a good place for you guys to be. Well-deserved reward, yeah. So you guys are getting ready to really experience some success and growth in your life. And it's due because it's due to you making the leap of faith towards your, your passion and purpose. But also what I'm feeling is though, you guys did do some releasing and some shedding and some changing. You found the strength that you needed to be able to withstand the storm. And because of that, you're getting ready to expect a lot of growth. Even with the plant right here is patience. It's like you guys are sprouting into who you really want to be and having more uh, financial security. Yeah, the full card. You guys have the full card twice. See, that's what I'm saying. It's like you're taking a leap, your leaps of faith into passion and purpose. You're like, yeah, I'm super excited, but it's also impulsive. So there just needs to be a little bit of a balance um, in what it is that you're doing. So you guys are doing really great. I am guided and protected on my life journey. So this is not just jumping out and taking a leap of faith, but allowing your spirit guides in to guide you. Like they're saying, we are basically your tour guide. So when you're making these decisions, don't forget to bring us along so that you can make um, the best decision possible. So the full card too, taking risks, going more after it, phases and cycles. There's a beginning with every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So it seems like you are coming to the end of a cycle. You guys are closing a lot of cycles and phases in your life. That's why the justice card is here. So what you guys have been currently experiencing that has been feeling a slightly defeated is the karmic energy. So you guys are releasing a lot of karmic energy, a lot of past energy that's going on right now around your finances, around your dreams, getting ready for that, making more of a practical plan uh, towards success. Now that you guys have gotten down your passion and your purpose, you're just being asked to make it realistic, which is the manifestation process. All right, cooperation and partnerships bring great reward, rewards. Two people are better than one. They can help each other succeed. So this is about being open to help also. The full card is amazing, but the full also needs balance because the way that this card is, is they'll take a leap of faith off of the mountain, which is amazing, but they won't have practical things involved also, which means you may need help. You may need cooperation with partners um, that help you get to this reward and success, which I do feel like you guys are going to have help in a team to do what it is that you guys want to do. For some of you, I don't know why I'm like getting this, but for some of you, some of you desire to start a nonprofit organization or serving people or helping people. And you're really excited about this, but the practical plan that's necessary is also going to allow people to help you come in. So be open to help. It's spirit. Your spirits are saying like, we're sending in people to help you with what it is that you want to do, but it's going to require patience. Imagine like being so excited to do these things, um, going after your passion and purpose. You know, you're going to be successful. You finally got everything under your belt and then spirit is like, okay, but patience, it's like being excited, but also like being in a good balance so that you're not overly excited where you're just completely loose, um, even financially with spending and things like that but also um, having a good balance to still live in this world and still like be in your imaginative world, spirituality. All right, steady progress. So a lot of you have come very far in your endeavors. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. Yeah, out of all of the decks that I had today, you guys are doing the best. <laughs> you have little things that you're working on, um, trusting in yourself more. Spirit is saying, trust in your intuition to make the right decisions. You're already equipped with um, the truth and the guidance that you need to follow for your achievement. So all of the work that you guys are doing, you're getting ready to see the fruits of the work that you've um, been, been doing and all of the time and effort and money 
and uh, desires are coming forth. Everything is was necessary that you guys went through. Everything was necessary. Go for it. Yeah. So it's like you're going for it, which is great. However, that's the only thing that I see is just making sure that you're following your intuition um, and not just being like careless or sporadic or impulsive, but still having a good balance. So we've been working on you since the beginning of time. We continue to watch over everyone involved. Stay on the present path as it will take you very far. So yeah, you guys are on the right path. You just did decide to take a leap into your passion and purpose and focus more on the things that you guys want. Your guys' overall energy falling the unknown descent, momentum, and change. It's interesting because this is everything that I've been talking about with you guys with the full card here twice. A lot of you have a lot of faith and um, a lot of hope in the things that you guys are going after. And that's why you're going to start seeing results. Now, this is about also being careful of the unknown and the uncertainty. You are presently experiencing a time of des descent. You are in between worlds yet to land yet to know what will come next, yet to feel the impact of the inevitable moment when your feet touch the earth again. At present, it is the natural feel to doubt, to be discouraged, to have nerves or even fear. You have left, now you must fall. So soon you shall land, but first comes the descent. So a lot of you, like I said, you guys did take a leap of faith. And so now what you're gonna be experiencing, if you haven't already, is the landing process, which I always tell people, you feel super great. You're just like, yeah, Tarot Priest, I listen to everything you said, like I'm ready, like everything's happening for me. And then boom, you hit the ground and you're like, whoa, like that landing I did not expect. And that's just what, coming back to reality. While we're super excited and ambitious about following our passion and purpose, we are still brought back down in a grounding way, whether that's a phone bill that was late that comes across your table, or maybe it's a tire that pops. Like it's unexpected things. So basically what Spirit is saying, first of all, you guys are very mature. If you guys pick this group and you haven't taken the leap of faith, you're definitely gonna do it. This group is very mature in its spiritual um, encouragement and enlightenment versus all the other decks. You guys are only dealing with the troubles of having to land and ground yourself in this world now that you've experienced that you can have more. Um, and so you're gonna notice things happening that try, that basically bring you back down to earth because you guys have been just like impulsively and doing that thing. And that's why Spirit is saying, don't forget your practical plan and having patience, okay? Now that you know that you can have the passions of your heart, I feel like you guys are super excited about that, which is why nothing, um, I see is gonna go uncertain. Even your financial stability, like you guys are headed towards a great space of abundance, but be prepared for uncertainty of the unknown, which is why the Fool card is here. It says, I am guided and protected on my life journey. The Fool never has their eyes open. They're all, most of the time on all tarot decks, they're closed because they're reliant solely on their intuition. Um, so make sure that your intuition and your excitement are on the same level. All right. So basically you have launched yourself into the unknown, taken a risk, dare to follow your instincts without the thought and consideration that would have been seen if you missed the chance that would have come to you. But right now you are completely within the process of descent. You may have allowed yourself to let go of people, places, objects, roles, or ways of being. It could be that a relationship, a type of career, or the routine you once had is now in flux. Something has unraveled and you are moving into a different part of your destiny. A fall can be accompanied by disillusionment, a sense that something is being broken, a shattering of beliefs and perspectives, and the inability to know what will come next. Will you simply keep falling, falling with no end? It will end. There will be a new place and a fresh way of being to explore. For now, surrender to the unknown into the passageway into your life. The fall is the moment before the rebirth. The best response is to relax into the fall observe and wonder what is to come next know that this was the only way through to the next stage of your evolution and the entrance into your own wonder world there is no new discovery without unknown yes so embracing the unknown entirely if you guys have an experience like bumps in the road they're coming but this is also to what back to the very original message 
to show you how much strength you do have, show you how much power you have to overcome. When you think about gold going through the fire, going through the fire and every single time it's purified more and more and more, it's like we have to go through these fires to see our strength. We have to go through destruct destruction to see that we're indestructible. So a lot of these events and circumstances that will come, especially with where you guys are, are in, to show you the strength within yourself to show you that you can actually do this. And even if you take a leap of faith and you're excited and you land and you are like, what the hell, I didn't expect that. I was really hoping that this would work out. That does not mean that you stop. It does not mean that you stop dreaming. It does not mean that you stop taking risks. Only because of the unknown is not a good decision why you should not leap again. The unknown gives us a chance to grow, gives us a chance to learn more about ourselves, and most importantly, connect with our spirit guides and our intuition. So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and words of encouragement. Don't forget to comment down below so I can also get some words of encouragement back to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this pick a card reading. I am out, signing off, love and light to you guys.